I am always having troubles finding my pins when prototyping with the Arduino Nano. And I don't use the breadboard, I connect the pawn wire directly to the Nano. So if you're doing like me, I made this very handy chart. You just have to place the Nano facing down and it will help you find the pins you need for your prototyping projects. The chart is available in PDF format in the video description. Let's take a closer look at it. First, let's look at the color coding on the chart. So you have digital pins in blue from D2 to D13. You have analog pins in green from A0 to A7. The power pin which are in red. You have the RX and TX pins in dark blue. And the reset pin in orange. I have added arrows to uh, the lines to indicate if the pin is an input or an output. For example, um, all the digital pins D2 to D13 are input-output pins that are indicated by arrows going in into the nano or going out. So you can read from the pin or send a signal to uh, whichever is connected to the pin. For example, you can have an LED connected to D4 to turn it on or off. Same thing for the analog pins. A0 to A5 are input-output pins, indicated by the arrows. But take note that pin A6 and A7 are only input pins, so you can only read from A6 and A7. You cannot send any signal to A6 and A7. For example, you cannot have an LED connected to A7 and turn it on or off. It's impossible because these are only input pins. Reset pin in orange are input pins, so you can reset the nano by sending a low signal to the pin. Uh, the nano is outputting 5 volt and also 3.3 volt in the pins indicated in red. And this one, the VIN pin, is an input pin, so it's an input voltage. So you can power the Arduino Nano with an external power source. You just have to make sure that when you use the VIN pin to power the Nano, you don't have the USB port plugged into your computer because it's also a, a power source. So it's either one, it's either the USB port or the, or the, uh, the VIN pin. And you also have to make sure that the input voltage from the uh, external uh, power supply is between 7 volt and 12 volt. RX and TX pin are also input output pins for serial communication with the Arduino. And you can also use them as digital pin D0 and D1. But to be able to use them as digital pin, you must make sure that you don't use serial communication in your sketch, meaning that you don't use any serial function in your sketch. If you do that, you cannot use RX and TX as D0 or uh, as digital pins. I have also indicated PWM pins. So these are pins that uh, you can use for dimming an LED, uh, provide a variable speed to a motor, so D5, D6, D9, D10, and D11 are PWM pins. So we have five pins on the Arduino uh, for doing that. I have also indicated pins that you have to use for the I2C protocol. So it's the protocol for, uh, it's a two-wire protocol so that two Arduino devices can communicate to each other. So these are SD and SCL pins. So it's A5 and A4 on the Arduino Nano. And also for the serial peripheral interface, the SPI interface, which are four pins, the SS, MOSI, MISO, and SCK pins, which are D10, D11, D12, and D13. You can get the chart on my website, and I've put the link in the video description. There's three files. So the PDF file, you can print the chart on your site with the PDF file. I've also included a JPEG file and my source file, which is an Illustrator file. So if you want to add something that uh, you would like on the chart, you can do it on the Illustrator file, and you can also do it on JPEG or on the PDF file. Go get the files and leave me comments if you find that useful to help you locate pins on the Arduino Nano. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.